Hello, in this video we will solve two problems related to gyroscopic effect which I have taken from the book of Theory of Machine by S.S. Ratan. The first problem is a disc with radius of gyration of 60 mm and a mass of 4 kg is mounted centrally on a horizontal axle of 80 mm length between the bearings. It spins about the axle at 800 rpm counterclockwise when viewed from right hand side of bearing. If you view from this right side, then this disc is rotating in anti-clockwise direction with 800 rpm. The axle precesses about a vertical axis at 50 rpm in the clockwise direction when viewed from the above. If you view from the top, then this axle, this entire axle is precessing about this axis in clockwise direction. If you look from top, it will be in clockwise direction. It means because of this motion, this B part will come towards you and A part will go away from you. We have to determine the resultant reaction at each bearing due to the mass and the gyroscopic effect. We have to determine reactions at these two bearings A and B. The given data, mass is given 4 kg. So A is the radius of gyration which is given 0.06 meter. I have converted 60 mm into meters. Now moment of inertia of this disc with respect to this axis will be mk square mass into radius of gyration square. It is coming 0.0144 kg meter square. RPM is given 800 RPM. From this RPM you can calculate angular velocity omega using relation 2 pi n divided by 60 and you will get value 83.78 radian per second. Now, angular, uh, now RPM of precision is given 50 RPM. Again, using same relation, you can determine angular velocity of precision as 5.24 radian per second. Now you can calculate gyroscopic couple, which is equal to I omega omega P, moment of inertia, angular velocity of spin, and angular velocity of precision. And after multiplying all this, you will get 6.32 Newton meter. This, this is the couple need to be applied for getting this desired motion. Now I have drawn free body diagram of this disc with Excel. I have removed two supports and in place of supports I have shown two reactions RA and RB. But this free body diagram is not complete because this system is not in equilibrium. As per D. Lambert's principle, we know that we have to apply inertia force or inertia couple in the free body diagram to bring the body in equilibrium. Here applied couple C is I omega omega P where I is moment of inertia and omega into omega P is angular acceleration. Therefore, we have to apply equal and opposite couple in this system to bring the system in equilibrium. We need to know what is the direction of this acceleration omega omega P. This direction can be obtained using vector diagram. Now first you can see this disc is rotating in anti-clockwise direction when looking from the right side. So from right hand screw rule, if you rotate this screw in anti-clockwise direction, then screw will move in this direction, in right side direction. So this is what I have drawn arrow. So this will be the initial direction of momentum or initial direction of angular velocity. After that, it is rotating in clockwise direction. So this B will come uh, this side and A will go that side. Therefore, the direction will become this one. This will be the direction of next angular momentum. So from the starting point to end point, if you join this, this will be the direction of applied couple or active gyroscopic couple. Now we have to apply inertia gyroscopic couple or reactive gyroscopic couple, which will be equal to this magnitude will be same, direction will be just opposite to this. So reactive gyroscopic couple will be in this direction. This direction can be obtained. That means we have to apply one couple in this vertical plane using this right hand screw rule. So if you want this, this direction, this direction you want. So you have to apply a couple of magnitude 6.32 Newton meter in clockwise direction. If you rotate this in clockwise direction, then right hand screw will move in this direction perpendicular to this vertical plane. Now apply this, that this is the inertia couple or reactive couple. Apply this couple here, then you, the, your free body diagram will be complete. Now this free body diagram is complete. You can now apply 
the equations of equilibrium that is sigma fx equal to 0, sigma fy equal to 0 and sigma m is equal to 0. So in x direction there is no force in x direction therefore I have not used that relation so directly I am using sigma fy equal to 0. So in y direction we have three forces Ra 39.24 Newton and Rb. So these two are upward direction Ra and Rb. So I, Ra plus so I can write this equation as Ra plus Rb is equal to 39.24 Newton. So in this way we get one relation. Now second relation you have to take moment with respect to any point. I have taken moment with respect to A. So take that sigma Ma is equal to 0. If you apply this relation uh, first moment of you have to take moment of all the forces and all applied moment. So here moment of Ra since it is passing through A so its moment will be 0. Second 39.24 its moment will be clockwise with respect to A. So I will take clockwise moment as positive and anti-clockwise moment as negative. So you will get 39.24 into this distance. So this is half of this 80 mm. So 40 mm I have converted that into in meters. So 0 0.04 meter. This is moment of 39.24. Now Rb is anti-clockwise with respect to A, so it will be minus Rb into its distance is 80 mm, that is 0.08 meter. So Rb and third one is this uh, this inertia couple which is equal to 6.32 Newton meter. Now this is clockwise, that's why I have written plus as 6.32 is equal to 0. By solving this relation, so from that this relation you will get value of Rb as 98.62 Newton. You are getting positive value that means the direction which you have assumed upward is correct. So upward direction that's what I have written. Now when you put this value of Rb in this equation here you will get value of Ra as Ra is equal to 39.24 minus Rb minus 98.62 is, is equal to minus 59.38 Newton. The negative sign shows that direction which I have assumed here Ra upward is not correct actually direction will be downward. So 59.38 Newton downward direction. Now we have determined reactions at these two supports uh, at these two ends of the axle need forces uh, which are acting in the bearing. So for bearing reactions at bearings will be just opposite to the reactions at axle. Therefore you will get reaction at A in bearing 59.38 Newton upward direction and reaction at B in bearing 98.62 Newton downwards. Second problem I have taken is uh, a disc supported between two bearings on a shaft of negligible weight has a mass of 80 kg. Mass of this disc is 80 kg. So I have multiplied this with 9.81 to convert it into weight in Newtons. Its radius of gyration is 300 mm. The distances of the disc from the bearings are 300 mm to the right from the left hand bearing. So from the left hand bearing it's 300 mm towards right and 450 mm to the left from the right hand bearing. So this is right hand bearing from here its distance is 450 mm. The bearings are supported by thin vertical cords. These are the two vertical cords in which these are supported. When the disc rotates at 100 radian per second in the clockwise direction looking from the left hand bearing. If you look from this side this disc is rotating clockwise. That's what I have drawn this direction. From this side it will be anti-clockwise. From right side it will be anti-clockwise and from left side it is uh, rotating in clockwise direction. The angular velocity is directly given 100 radian per second. The cord supporting the left hand side bearing breaks. So this cord get breaks. Uh, find the angular velocity of precision at the instant. So at that instant what will be the angular velocity of precision or angular velocity of this axis uh, we have to determine and discuss the motion of the disc and we have to discuss the motion of the disc. That means we have to determine direction of the position. These are the values given. Mass is given 80 kg. K radius of gyration 0 0.3 meter. 300 mm I have converted that into in meters. So moment of inertia of this disc with respect to axis is equal to 80 into 0 0.3 square. So 7.2 kg meter square. Uh, and omega is given 100 radian per second. Omega p we have to determine question mark. So here uh, when it get breaks the left side um, rope get breaks at that time entire load of this disc will be shifted to this single cord. So load is 784.8 Newton of this disc so entire load will be taken by this uh, this cord. So here you will get 
in this chord you will get tension is equal to 784.8 now these two together form a couple and this couple is anti clockwise couple you can see this is anti clockwise couple and magnitude of this couple will be equal to 784.8 into 450 mm so if you convert this into meters then you will get 0.45 so this is the anti clockwise couple these two together form a, an anti clockwise couple and this couple will be represented by a vector which is perpendicular to this vertical plane and that means you will get it in horizontal plane and in this direction according to right hand screw rule so this is what we will get uh, this is the gyroscopic couple active couple which is acting so i omega omega p is equal to mg into l so from this uh, I moment of inertia we have determined 7.2 uh, angular velocity omega is given 100 radian per second omega p we have to determine mg in place of mg I have written 784.8 and into L length is 0 0.45 this length I have taken so from this you will get angular velocity of precision as 0 0.49 radian per second now we will analyze what will be the direction of motion that means it, it will start precision that means this shaft will also start rotating about this axis but in which direction it will rotate that we have to determine for that we have to draw uh, initial angular velocity so initially using this right hand screw rule if you are from this side it is anti-clockwise anti-clockwise direction so if this screw is rotating in anti-clockwise direction then it will move in right side direction so this I have drawn as uh, initial angular momentum draw vector diagram so this is initial vector, uh, angular momentum in this momentum we have applied one gyroscopic couple in this direction towards this direction so this gyroscopic couple I have drawn in this direction is equal to I omega omega P uh, so final momentum will be in this direction so this will be the your direction of final momentum how can you get this di direction so this is I have drawn here so this this is the final direction of momentum from right hand screw rule uh, if you rotate this in this direction in anti clockwise direction then you will get this direction that means this shaft should move in this manner so if shaft moves in this manner at that particular instant then only you will get this direction of momentum it means this shaft is rotating clockwise direction so this shaft is moving in clockwise direction about this chord this shaft will start rotating about this rope in clockwise direction when viewed from the top in this way you can analyze or in this way you can solve problems on gyroscopic effect so calculation part is very simple only a single formula C is equal to I omega omega P only difficulty you may encounter in determining the direction of motion thank you for watching this video